In this video, we'll discover about tips on creating a feasible workout plan. Working out at home comes with a lot of advantages. You'll not have to spend money transporting yourself to and from the gym. It also affords you the time for a thorough warm-up before starting a session. Meanwhile, with some minutes of warming up, you're ready to fire on all cylinders. It is not ideal to start a session with cold muscles to avoid injuries during the activity. This chapter will guide you through how to create your own home workout plan. Crescendo all the way, starting with the easiest tasks. Remember that desperation will only get you undesirable results. Therefore, when starting your home workout, you need to set clearly defined goals to channel your energy in the right direction. You should ask yourself the following questions and many more. Do I want to lose weight? Am I trying to bulk up or build muscle? Regardless of your reason for involving in regular exercise, you should start from the easiest tasks. Write down your targets so that they can serve as inspiration and motivation later. Nonetheless, you need to take it slowly to avoid getting injuries or overstretching your muscles. Typical Home Workout Plan Your objectives will determine your home workout plan. You can do more research regarding specific exercises that favor your goals. As a beginner, you can choose to start by working out three days a week. If you're choosing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, a typical week's routine looks like this. Monday. After warming up for a few minutes, you can start your routine with the following activities. Activity 1. Power Snatch. This exercise involves bending your knees while holding a dumbbell in one hand between your legs. Then extend your hips, knees, and ankles explosively to raise the weight overhead. Drop into a half squat to hold the weight overhead once your body is straight from head to toe. Then stand up straight. It's recommended that you rest for a minute before moving to the next activity. Activity 2. Squat Press Begin with dumbbells at a shoulder level and go down into a squat. Proceed by standing up and press the weights directly overhead. Bring down the weights and go back to the initial position. Activity 3. Jump Squat After resting for 60 seconds, start with the dumbbells by your sides and go down into a half squat. Then jump straight up from the ground, land softly, and do it again. Activity 4. Windmill Begin by holding a dumbbell overhead before bending at the waist by bringing one hand down your leg. Ensure that you focus on the weight throughout the routine. Activity 5. Roll Out With the dumbbells below your shoulders, kneel. Then roll the weights forward as far as possible. Control the movement with your abs, then return to the initial position. This move alongside windmill is the best way to develop a rock-hard six-pack. Wednesday just like the first day, focus more on functional movements. These activities aren't difficult and give you the momentum to keep going when you're beginning to tire out. They include dumbbell swing, overhead squat, side lunge, press up renegade row, and leg raise. Make the exercise seamless by resting for a minute after completing a task. Activity 1, Dumbbell Swing By hinging at the hips, send the dumbbell between your legs. Then in order to use the hip drive to raise the dumbbell to shoulder height, Push your glutes forward powerfully. Reverse the move to the beginning and move to the next rep. Activity 2. Overhead Squat This activity involves starting holding both weights directly overhead. Then bend at the hips and knees to lower into a squat at the same time. Ensure that you don't allow the weights to come forward. Activity 3. Press Up Renegade Row Perform a press up at the top while holding a dumbbell in each hand. Ensure you row one dumbbell up to your side. Then row the other dumbbell up while lowering the weight to complete one rep. Activity 4. Side Lunge Begin by holding a dumbbell in each hand. Then bend your leading knee as you take a big step to one side. Make sure that you keep your foot pointing forwards while your knee is in line with your toes. Return to the start by pushing off your leading foot. Then make a move the other way to repeat the movement. With each rep, alternate sides. Activity 5. Leg Raise This exercise is quite straightforward. It involves holding a dumbbell between your feet with your heels elevated slightly off the ground. Raise your legs until they are vertical while keeping them straight. Then slowly lower under control while ensuring that your heels don't touch the floor. Workout 3, Friday. In the last workout day of the week, it is recommended that you end on a high. In other words, do more tedious tasks. The first one here might be the most challenging exercise you have ever attempted. The issue is not complexity or heaviness, but technicality. The last activity is the Turkish get-ups. Pressing weights directly overhead while squatting demands excellent mobility and control. This activity is so demanding and beneficial that you can make it an entire session. Activity 1. Back of Steel 
Start by lowering into an overhead squat with the dumbbells above your head. Then lower the weights to shoulder level while still in a squat position. Continue by repeating the lowering and pressing movement while in position. Activity 2, one leg squat. With the dumbbells by your sides, stand on one leg. Then bend at the hips and knees to lower into a single leg squat while keeping your chest up. Press back up to where you began. Endeavor to complete all the reps on that leg before switching to the other. Activity 3, wood chop lunge. Start this exercise by placing a dumbbell over a shoulder. Then lunge forwards with the opposite leg while bringing the weight down across your body at the same time. Then lunge forward with the opposite leg while bringing the weight down across your body at the same time. Swap sides after doing all the reps on one side. Activity 4, one leg Romanian deadlift. With the weights hanging down by your sides, stand on one leg. Lower the weights towards the floor by hinging at the hips. Ensure that you keep them close to your leg. You'll put a strain on your lower back if you come too far forward. So, avoid it. Activity 5, Turkish Get Up. End the session by lying on the floor as you hold a weight above your face. Then bend your knee on that side and come up onto your elbow. Move to your hand and push your hips off the floor. Then bring your straight leg back under your body. Remove your hand from the floor and stand up. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.